Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is arrow function in JavaScript. So, the arrow function is also called lambda function. Arrow function allows us to write shorter functions in text and helps us to make our code more readable and structured. Uh, let me uh, give you an example where I'll uh, declare a function and then the same function I'll be declaring with arrow function. Um, and let's see how. So let me use uh, the keyword let and then I'm taking a function and here I'm giving parameters as n1, n2. Okay, now let's write the body of function. So here I'm uh, returning a value and I'm adding these two parameters to n1 plus n2. Now um, let's uh, see the result. So I'm taking variable name as uh, a result and I'll be giving these uh, uh, and one into parameters as 10 and 20 suppose now uh, to see the output uh, let me log this so let me write console.log and then this variable where we'll be uh, seeing the result so let me write result and now in the terminal window let's write node and then the file name that is arrow function.js so let me write arrow function.js and on clicking the enter button we can see the output as uh, 30 this uh, 10 plus 20 now let me write uh, the same function by using arrow function so, so let me write uh, the keyword then uh, here now let's remove this um, okay let me comment this first okay uh, now uh, remove this function we can remove this function so uh, let me write uh, simply on the parameters so n1 and n2 okay now let's use arrow so here it is arrow and here let me write uh, n1 plus n2 so we have removed this keyword function then these parameters are giving um, directly and then this uh, the body so here what we have done um, we actually uh, remove this function this keyword function i didn't written in arrow function we need not to write this uh, keyword and then the body of function uh, can be written as this and this is arrow so this is arrow function now to uh, see the result let me um, write the variable name as a result and here let me uh, give the parameters as the same 10 20. now let's log this now let's see the result so here we can see the output as 30 okay so um, this is uh, the function declaration and uh, this is our uh, arrow function here uh, we need not to write the function keyword and this is arrow so we remove function and then we put arrow so this is known as arrow function if only one statement is there in function then no need to put the curly braces so since uh, only one statement is there in the body of function uh, we need not to put the curly braces over here and uh, no need to write a return in case of single statement which is going to return a value so this return is uh, this return can also be omitted since uh, there is only one statement this is, uh, that is going to return a value. So uh, this is arrow function. Arrow function makes our code more readable and structured. 